In this video, we'll talk about cluttered home equals cluttered mind. How to reduce the mess. First, let us take a look at the home. A cluttered home leads to a cluttered mind. Then we'll examine some ways that you can reduce the mess so you can regain some essential control over your life. The problem of the cluttered home. Why do we end up acquiring clutter in our homes? There are several reasons behind this. Let us look at some of the most common. You don't know when it's time to get rid of items. In many households, there's a lot of confusion about when the time has come to sell, donate, shred, or throw away items when they're no longer used or needed. You don't have anywhere to store things properly, or you just don't know how to store it. You have no organization routine to follow in the home. You don't have sufficient storage space or solutions. You persistently keep common clutter sources around. You regularly buy things that you don't need or use. You lack the ability to let go of items especially those with some sentimental value. Many of us can relate to at least one of the above statements. The key is to identify which are applicable to you so that you can then work on ways of addressing them. How does a cluttered home lead to a cluttered mind? Clutter in the home ends up having a negative impact on your mind, your body, and your overall health. There is a direct link between high levels of stress and excess clutter in the home, and this has been proven in several studies over the past few years. Why is this the case? The home is supposed to be an oasis of calm, a peaceful refuge, and a comfortable space where you can unwind and chill out. How can you do that if there's disorganization and mess everywhere? Clutter in the home impacts negatively on your ability to concentrate and focus. There are distractions everywhere, and this causes your mental faculties to become worn down. Frustration is then the inevitable result, which causes stress to build up. When you can't focus properly, your ability to problem solve and be creative is also inhibited. Tests have shown that people who have increased clutter at home also have higher cortisol levels in their bodies. Cortisol is a stress hormone that triggers a flight or fight response. When levels of this hormone are high, we cannot truly relax or unwind effectively, and we're constantly in a state of high alert. Meanwhile, those whose homes are tidier, more organized, have happier and less stressed lives. One further problem that clutter can cause in terms of mental health is the feeling of guilt that can build up over time. Knowing that you should be keeping your home spotless but not seeming able to find the motivation or the time to get the job done can increase anxiety levels. That makes it even harder to relax or enjoy yourself during your potential downtime. You're constantly thinking about all the many tasks and chores that are incomplete and that still remain to be done. The areas to tackle. The average home has many areas where clutter can begin to gather and accumulate. However, there are four key areas that you should look at first when preparing to get organized and to take back control of your life. First, take a look at your floors. Do you have piles of items in the corner of the room? Are there furnishings that you simply don't need to take up space in your home? Take another look at your home's footprint. Decide how you can use the space more effectively so you can move more easily between rooms and enjoy maximum openness throughout. Secondly, take a look at your drawers. Are they full of junk? Have they been emptied and sorted recently? Are there items in there that should really have gone in the trash years ago? Even if there's no junk in there, have they been tidied and organized? Thirdly, take a look at your closets. Do you really wear all those clothes? Are all those shoes really necessary? Is there a better way to store those sweaters? Could you find new storage solutions to maximize the available space in your closet? Fourthly, take a look at your shelves. While these may be the last area that you consider organizing, it can be the place in your home where most clutter appears. How often have you put a book, a toy, or a pen on a shelf and thought you could move it soon, but then never got around to it? Do you regularly tidy up the books, CDs, or DVDs in your units? It's time to give them a once over to get rid of any items that don't belong on a shelf. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.